Everybody is talking about the demographic dividend in Africa. The idea that there will be more entrance into the labor market, fewer dependents, you can increase income per capita. What does it take to realize this demographic dividend? Well, that's, that's a complex equation. Uh, one thing is for sure is, is, is the demographic dividend is not something given. It's different from the demographic transition or the use bulge. So in fact, when um, the, the, um, when, when the uh, demographic uh, uh, um, composition of the country and countries change and you have this uh, decrease of the dependency ratio, um, there is this possibility that you have a very large young and productive population that will actually drive economic growth and this is what happened uh, in East Asia and, and produced uh, uh, decades of, uh, of, of two digits uh, growth. However, this ha to, in order for countries to realize that you, you need to have a certain number of conditions and, 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 so, and one of them is that this population, th this young population is educated and has skills and that you have an environment in which actually they can, they can have jobs. Uh, and so that talks about the governance of the private sector, the, 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 the business environment. And, um, and if, if it doesn't happen, then you may have the opposite of the demographic dividend, which is unrest and, uh, uh, and lack of cohesion uh, of societies, because you have, we will have a large number of uneducated unemployed young people. And so that's really somehow a very stark choice that most countries have to face today is whether they will be able to transform that use bulge into a dividend and not into a risk and a problem.